uh, Paul Hogan and Shane Jacobson have got a brand new film and we're talking to them about it. Charlie Boots is a, is a road trip film. Starts in Warrnambool in, uh, in southern Victoria. There must have been elements of Australia, particularly you, Hogs, that you would have come across before. But are there elements in places in Australia that you haven't seen before and have as a result of doing the film? Uh, I think Emerald was the only place in Queensland that yep. I hadn't been to before. And that's a mining town. Yep. Come out of my motel one night and there's a guy about 6'2", shaved head, with a dress on. Oh, oh g'day, Hogs. <laughs> Oh, good day, mate. I said nothing about his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Is Apparently that he lost a bet. Yeah, he lost a bet. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, look, says. we're working mm. in the medium of radio, so people draw your own picture. He did have a purse under yeah. his dress, mm. and it had a chain on it. And you know how you normally clip it to your belt? Mm. Yes. If you have a little chain? Yeah, he didn't have a belt on. Oh. He clipped it onto something else, which was part of the bet. Oh. <laughs> and I got to see that. And I've not recovered. <laughs> no, no. So really what you're saying is don't gamble in mining towns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'd walk down the street and there'd be people there. They were like, you know, fridges with heads. They were massive. <laughs> and one guy said, G'day, mate, big fan. And in my mind I went, thank God. <laughs> hey, so I, was looking, I was watching the, there was the news or something the other day and they were talking about Tourism Australia and they keep coming back to that great campaign that you did, chuck a shrimp on the barbie. Mm -hmm. What do you think we should be doing now? to get people to Australia. Well, you can't go back to that. Yeah. You know, it can't be old hags up there with a the shriveled up burnt shrimp who have been on the barbie for 20 years. Yeah, that, <laughs> that prawn would be <laughs> knackered by now, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but they've, they've sort of missed the boat with the, uh, the element that we had, which was the people, because there were at least 100 different destinations advertising on television in the States and around the world, and they all look beautiful, and they all look, oh, that looks fun. So what we did then was to promote the people. They're friendly, they're fun-loving, they prefer the weekend to the working week and, you know, coming down, they'll have a beer, they'll invite you to a barbecue. Not all of it true, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I was convincing with it. And that was sort of, the campaign was built on the principle that if I uh, come to your house and I want to keep coming back, it's because I like the company, not the furniture. Absolutely, and mm. I think, you know, that's one of the things that we get is feedback from tourists when they come to Australia is that they, they like us as people because we are genuinely quite friendly and we're always interested in foreigners. Then you get people like Ivan Milat, yeah, who sent us on, back yeah, a few yeah. years, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's undone your bloody porn yeah. gig, I'll tell you that right now. Just pack one pair of clothes, you're not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gentlemen, in the movie, there's a, there's a Kingswood. Uh, either of you ever had a Kingswood? I now own that Kingswood. Okay. Paid, you know, I paid $15,000 for it, <laughs> which is a lie. Uh, I paid $1,000 for it, and yeah. I tried to insure it the other day, and they said, do you want it at agreed value or market value? And I said, I'll oh, make it five grand. She said, certainly, and I heard tap, tap, tap on the keyboard. Sorry, sir, the maximum we can insure that for is 3400 yeah. yeah. Couldn't even get to three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Some people, it's worth a lot more than that. Yeah, it is to me. Yeah, I would pay that much for it to set fire to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no air conditioning. No Paul air conditioning. hated it. Where do you spend most of your time these days, Hoax? Santa Barbara? Yeah. No, I actually just moved a week ago. So I might not have a home to go to because I moved to Malibu and the second day we moved into the house, I said, well, I've got to go now and left a wife with a house full of boxes <laughs> and stuff. She yeah. may not have unpacked your boxes. <laughs> may not have unpacked <laughs> They may be on yeah. the front yeah. lawn. That <laughs> was her fault she wanted yeah. to move to. Uh, the, the biggest attraction to me is uh, being anonymous. Yeah. I'm a small uh, fish in a big pond. Have we loved you so much that we've hurt you? No, but it's just the media attention I've sort of... You get sick of defending yourself. Yeah. You don't have to over there because I'm here I'm always done something. I don't mind it when I've got something to promote. Yeah. I mean, I sort of, I, I usually bring up the tax. Because I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 tax man, yeah, I'm stitching it up in. Because I'm promoting the movie. Right? And by the way, see my new film. <laughs> yeah. If I haven't got anything to plug, yeah. I'd rather... Vanish off the face of the earth. Oh. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you both here. Uh, Charlie and Boots in cinemas, 3rd of September. All the best. And Good luck uh, for it, boys. For Good on you, Thank mate. you very much. Thanks. 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 Video online of our chat with Paul Hogan and Shane Jacobson. A couple of legends. Uh, it's 8.24 here at Nova 969. Merrick's on